It's a great day, my amazing CEOs. Safe Light Auto Glass, a company with over $1 billion in revenue, faced a challenge despite its success. You see, like many businesses, they were operating, so functioning, everything looked well. But the CEO at the time, Tim Fairley, he says there was a problem behind the scenes. And despite double, doubling their revenues, despite the operational that was happening on time, he knew that the customers weren't fully satisfied because the feedback he was getting was, hey, look, the business is running good. Yes, I got what I needed done, but it could have been done with a better experience. So here's the kicker. Safe, Safe Lights Industry Auto Glass is no walk in the park. It's not an easy industry to be in because of the technology advancements happening in vehicles, um, assistant different systems are adding in there. And more importantly, the constant changes that they always got to go back and keep changing their training for the technicians so they can stay up to speed to handle new tasks like what they call window calibration. Now, I know that sounds overly complicated, but with each innovation in companies, then it's a whole shift for those folks to have to service the cars. And with Finley, the CEO realized that while Things seemed good with money. The customer focus had seemed to drift, 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 drift. And it showed over and over again. So how does that impact sales? Well, then folks start thinking, hey, do I need to come here? Should I do something different? So what they decided to do was shift the sales strategy to be more focused on the customer. And they even came up with a whole new model, a whole new slogan and here it is we exist to make a difference and bring unexpected happiness to people's everyday lives that does sound pretty cool here's what you need to know as a ceo their perspective shift so they identified three areas they would make the biggest change in number one service mindset number two a can-do attitude and number three a caring heart to solve the problem and make the customer experience what it needs to be and from a sales strategy perspective this separated them from the competition. So what's my big takeaway for you as a CEO? Well, just like Safe Light shifted its focus, as a CEO, you need to shift the focus if it hasn't been on the sales operations and the sales cycle for the clients. You see, it's not enough anymore just to deliver a product or service. You must deliver an experience, have a sales journey that surprises and delights the customer even in your most challenging moments. If you do that, you will see your sales go up. With that being said, welcome to the CEO Sales Huddle. My name is Jay Brown. I'm excited to be your host for today. And we're going to start as we do every single morning with our slogan. And our personal mantra, just like SafeLight, we've got a personal mantra. And it is, if you can't focus on sales, you can't be in business because selling is the oxygen for every great business in history. And without sales, there's always more money going out than there is coming in. So selling is serious business. Now we're going to focus on our pledge. And we do a pledge every single morning, and we should continue to do a pledge. And then we're going to do this because as a CEO, I believe that we've got to be focused on the most important part. And the most important part as a CEO is well, making sure we get new clients. So here's our pledge. Repeat after me. I have to learn something new. Wasn't that the case with Safe Light? Although, as a company, they were already doing $1 billion in revenue. In order to earn new revenue from current clients, how do they keep coming back? In order to get new and old clients to return. So I must learn, I must earn, and I must return. You do that. And here's the cool part. You see the sales go up. You see the results go up. You see the team change. We get together for three objectives every morning. It's about sales progress. So it's always about progress, progress, progress. It's also about addressing any roadblocks because the market changes. Our customers change. A technology change. We've got to continue to address these roadblocks because they're always going to be there as a CEO. They don't go away, by the way. And then number three, it's all about the sales team. So we have a sales team that helps us generate revenue. And that sales team could be you. The sales team could be the, um, the, the affiliate program. It could be your referrals. It could be your sales funnels. It's five components that you need for everybody to be able to understand. Now, once we do that, we move on to 
the reason why we're here. Now, for all everyone who's here that joins in every single morning, we appreciate you. Do me a favor if you can. Do me a favor. Look right below the video and just let me know you're here. I, I love the check-in. I read every single comment. Just put hashtag I'm here. Hashtag I'm here. That's the bat signal that you showed up, that you're in the building, by the way. And it's good. We appreciate you. You can see me, but I can't see you. And for those folks that um, are watching the replay, you put hashtag replay. I know you can't be here every morning at 8 a.m. There may be other commitments, other meetings, but you're stepping back for 15 minutes. You're you're dialed in, so these ideas can be top of mind to you. And when they're top of mind to you, you're just more likely to execute. Isn't that amazing? So let's talk about why we're here. What is the purpose of the CEO sales huddle? The purpose of the CEO sales huddle is a place where CEOs gather to understand how to sell more faster. Our big why is about sales growth. It's about accountability and it's about consistency. If you take a look back at your own business, you take a look back at where you are, take a look at the sales organization. What areas have you experienced sales growth? What areas have you been consistent in? And isn't this what it's all about at the end of the day? Being able to make sure that we accomplish these key areas. We get together for 15 minutes a day. That's 1% of your day every single morning. Right now we're cruising along. We're at the six minute and 20 second mark. But our number one outcome, whenever we gather, our number one outcome remains the same. $100,000 plus a month of predictable, consistent, reliable revenue. Let me say that again so you get that. It's to generate, <coughs> excuse me, $100,000 a month of consistent, predictable, reliable revenue. <coughs> mm. And... You know, you do that, that that frees up a lot of things. It makes it a lot easier and a lot of times. Let me go back here, make sure that you can see me, but I can't see you. There we go. Okay, there we go. Now I can see you. Okay, now we're going to move <coughs> to arguably the most important part of why we get together every single morning. We're at the 7 minute and 11 second mark. And this is something that we just don't go by. This is not just something that's just, oh, it's just here for a reason. No, the CEO sales dashboard exists for a primary reason. And the number one challenge it had was that CEOs need to transform their business in order to transform their business and get the results they were really seeking. They needed a tool. They needed a resource. They needed a technique. And hence, we created the CEO sales dashboard to be just that tool or technique that they can use in their business to get the automatic ship. And so if you're out there today and you haven't downloaded the CEO dashboard, download it because it really identifies five key areas. So as a CEO, you no longer have to guess. You don't have to wonder, what do I need to be focused on? No, it's leads, appointments, offers, deals, and repeat business. This drives the entire sales organization. Now, we put together because folks got tired of going inside of ClickFunnels and Active Campaign and Go High Level and all the Soho and all the ones out there. And we said, you know what? Let's just create one for them. And so... Through years and years, it's finally here. I've been talking about it forever, and I've been doing it behind the scenes. So I'm so excited that I can release it to you. And it's the CEO sales dashboard. Now, the CEO sales dashboard is a way to, to measure because what gets measured gets managed. What gets managed gets better. So we're solving the number one challenge. You'll see here there's five components. There's leads, appointments, offers, deals, and repeat business. So you will look along the right-hand column, and across the top it goes 1 through 31 and when you go across the top you say okay let's go to today's date and once we get to today's date how many new leads came into the CRM yesterday how many appointments were set by the CR by you yesterday or your team how many appointments were run by you and your team yesterday and that's only if we were looking just at appointments but we're not going to just stop there we're going to go take a look today at appointments so i pick one category today we're going to talk about appointments and you see we got some subcategories so let's look at that so there's one thing it's called appointment set so appointment set means your team got really good at setting the appointment someone was there to speak to you someone was there to have a conversation i want you to go back and look how many were set yesterday how many were set the day before go back the last 30 days look at the number of appointments that were set now some of you I know you're already advanced. I get it. So you've got appointments set. Then underneath that, you got your number one product you want to sell, your number two product you want to sell, your number three product you want to sell. Now, I had a conversation with someone recently, and they were talking about 
five to ten different products they're launching or five or six different things that were going on. And one of the things I share with them that I'll share with you is one about 12 rules for life. I've got 12, but here's one of them. Keep the main thing, the main thing. OK, keep the main thing, the main thing. So let's let's focus on this, maybe one or two products and then look underneath that. And there's one skill set to set appointments. There's another skill set to run appointments. So I really want you to get focused on how many appointments were run yesterday. Someone showed up for and they were there. Someone agreed to be there and they arrived. And, and that's important because we know, in fact, that excuse me. Mm. When it comes to appointments, 30% of appointments may cancel because someone got sick, something came up. It's just, just, it's just a, how can I say this? It's a natural part of the selling process. People make appointments and they don't keep them. Natural part. We do all we can to keep that number as high as we can. But so how many did you run? That's something to track. And then there's one-on-one -on -one appointments. So some of you, your team is still going one-to-one, -one, whether it's face-to-face, -face, whether it's over the phone, whether it's through um, a Zoom call or StreamYard or online or offline. One to one. And then others of you, you really focus on one to many appointments. So you speak one time and there's a group, could be a webinar, could be an event, could be on a stage, could be through a podcast. That's one to many. And then there's a shift on the other side that we look at every single day, which is how many times do we have an appointment just to collaborate? I had one recently um, that just blew my mind. Happened yesterday. And I have probably one of those appointments every six months. And that was one of those appointments that could move the needle of the company. And then there are referrals. And referrals are a good source because maybe you're there to give referrals to someone else or maybe someone's there to give referrals to you. It's a win, a win, a win situation. All right, I, don't want to, I know I spent some time on this, but the CEO sales dashboard, this is the number one goal for your team to do every single day. Get it done, get it done, get it done. Drop me a note. If you, if you did the CEO sales, drop me a note say, done, Shay. Just... Drop me a DM. Go over to at I am Shea Brown. Drop me a DM and say, done. Done. Now, I don't care if you had to pay someone to do it. Done. Doesn't matter if you gave it to your assistant. Done. Doesn't matter if why you're sitting here with me right now. You're over on the other side. You're putting done. It's done. Then we're going to celebrate some wins. We're going to step back and acknowledge what's working because of philosophy. Powerful people ask powerful questions because questions their focus. And in this life, you get exactly what you focus on. So we're going to focus on what are we most proud of? Looking back on our results for just yesterday, just the sales organization, if we had to take a look, what was your biggest accomplishment? What do you want to brag about? And then we don't just stop there. We, we take a look back and say, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Shay. I celebrated wins. That's good. But I, I got some challenges and I know you understand that you get that intellectually. So when you look at the challenges, what was your biggest roadblock for the sales organization yesterday? And then slow down, you'll speed up. What's preventing you today from moving forward? And then in your business, what's the one thing you can do that only you can do that if you do it, it helps move the trajectory of your business. Make a decision and get it done today. I close with this. Sales message, the message of the day. Keep the main thing, the main thing. Keep the main thing, the main thing. Sometimes you get what we call the squirrel effect is what I've heard it called, which is you're supposed to be maybe working on your sales dashboard and oh, there's a squirrel and the squirrel effect means, oh, there's something to distract you. I got to go to Instagram. Oh, there's something to distract me. I've got to record some content. Oh, there's something to distract me. I need to make sure my website looks good. Oh, there's something to distract me. I got to get on a Zoom call because they're having a meeting about a meeting about a meeting. When the main thing is the revenue that's coming in because selling is serious business. If you can't focus on sales, you can't be in business. Keep the focus there. With that being said, we're at the 14 minute and two second mark. You're amazing. You're incredible. Thanks for tuning into the CEO sales huddle. This is a place we get together as CEOs, you, the CEO, to really work on the sales department. OK, the only department that generates revenue. And because you're amazing, because you're incredible, because I know as you're watching right now, you understand your company has the potential to perform at a much higher level. You're leading it. Congratulations. And I believe as you're watching now that as you're tuned in, that your best is still yet to come. Isn't that exciting? Your best is yet to come. Your best is yet to come. With that being said, my name is Shay Brown host of the CEO Sales Huddle. Make it a great day, everyone. We'll make some good things out. We connect again next time. God bless. And well, just keep doing God's work. Peace.